Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a excellent way to make ambient type soundtracks for your meditation sessions uh, where you can use a lot of different types of source audio regardless of the length and stretch it out into a very interesting soundscape and you'll learn you know what types work better than the others or some types work better than the others but let's just get a look at how to do that so let's go for instance to free sound here and I search for wind chimes all right so I found this wind chimes 2 dot wave and it's only 18 seconds long you know that's the problem and that's okay I mean a little tinkly and what have you uh, for certain purposes it would be good however being 17 seconds and like I say a little high and tinkly for meditation we'd like to do something different but this is a free file and it's available in a high quality WAV format and it's licensed under Creative Commons so we can do whatever we'd like with it so let's download it and I've got it and open it in Audacity all right and you need the newest version of audacity as of now it's 2.1 and what you want to do is open it select it all and then there's an effect and this has been a, a standalone program for a long time but it was introduced in uh, later versions of audacity as an effect and it's called Paul stretch awesome awesome plugin so what you do is you go in and you set the stretch factor and we're going to do it in a couple steps and I'm going to set the stretch factor to 10 now when you first open it that'll be the default so we'll leave the time resolution at 0.25 let's listen to that Alright, and what that does is a granular process. Granular is a type of audio synthesis that uses small sections of grains. And it takes those and granularizes it and stretches them out. And we'll be stretching this audio uh, 10 times its length. So let's go ahead and apply that. All right, so our 17 second file is now over two minutes, and that's cool. Let's listen to it. See, so now we're getting a, a singing bowls kind of feel, and that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and apply that again. Paul stretch now, being that it's over two minutes, let's try to head around 10 minutes. So I'm going to stretch it five times. And we'll let that apply. So from taking the 17 second audio file, we're now making a long session out of it, which is cool. So you can imagine you can use a section of any little part of a song or any little because it's it's indistinguishable from the source or what I mean is that you wouldn't be able to tell where it came from uh, once it's stretched, especially a very long way. You would not be able to identify where it came from. So now we've got a really long. bowl type sound and it's still got that high tinkly and actually it's got a kind of hissing seething kind of thing that's not the most relaxing thing in the world so what I do after that is go in and 
change the pitch change pitch without changing the tempo so we'll keep the same length see we're over 14 minutes now we get, we're got basically a 15 minute track and i'm going to change that by negative 80. let's preview that oh yeah see now we've got something cool So now we're getting like low bowls type sounds. Because of the granular process where it's stitching pieces together, it actually gets that feeling that you're going around the rim of a bowl. So that works to our advantage. Now you could go through in here and go ahead and add a bit of reverb if you wanted with kind of a long decay on it. That would help kind of hide some of the extreme process, processing that we've done. But Paul Stretch actually does an amazing job in making things seamless uh, without glitches in between them. Other types of pitch shifting, although we did some pitch shifting. Most of the extreme uh, behavior was done by Paul Stretch and it does it really well. So there you go. You just export that out to an MP3 or WAV file if you want to keep the original quality. And there you go. You got a super neat um, ambient audio track. Uh, if you wanted to go through and apply, for instance, uh, some isochronic beats on that within Audacity, you could use some of the plugins to do that, like Isomod 2. Uh, set some pulse width on it. Let's go ahead and just do that. We'll accept whatever the defaults were. So you could do that um, to create a uh, isochronic beat if you wanted. And um, you know, there's different techniques that I'll go into about that, but I just wanted to quickly point out Paul Stretch as a go-to tool for quick work, taking a 17-second file, turning it into a 17-minute file, and making a really unique singing bowl effect from free, clinkling, clanky wind chimes. Hope you enjoyed that.